Maria Mendel, known as the Beast. She was born on 10th January 1912 in Münzkirchen, Upper Austria. Her father was a shoemaker. She attended elementary school and later worked as a private employee. After Austria was annexed into Nazi Germany on March 13, 1938, known as Anschluss, Mendel moved to Munich. The same year, she was among the first group of women to volunteer to work as staff in Nazi concentration camps. On 15 October 1938, she joined the camp staff as an Aufseherin at Lichtenburg, one of the earliest camps to be used for female prisoners. On 15 May 1939, along with other guards and prisoners, Mendel was sent to the newly opened Ravensbrück concentration camp near Berlin. After joining the Nazi party on April 1, 1941, she was promoted to the rank of SS Oberaufseherin in April 1942. She soon impressed her superiors. She oversaw daily roll calls, assignments for Aufseherinnen, and punishments such as beatings and floggings. Mendel preferred to beat the prisoners herself rather than tell someone else to do so. On 7 October 1942, Mendel was appointed to Auschwitz II Birkenau as SS Lagerführerin of the women camp under SS Commandant Rudolf Hoss. Hoss was the longest serving commandant of Auschwitz concentration and examination camp, who introduced the pesticide Cyclone B to be used in gas chambers, where more than a million people were killed. Mendel had total control over all her female subordinates and prisoners in the camp. The only man Mendel reported to was the camp commandant. She controlled all the female Auschwitz camps and subcamps. Mendel brutally tortured prisoners, beat women, men and children with a whip and kicked them blindly. She would snatch the children from their mother's arms, and when the mother tried to save the children, Mendel would beat and kick them. She looked for women who have curly hair, which was against the camp's rules. If she found a single curly-haired woman, she would kick her on the ground and beat her around the head. And if she's in a bad mood, she would shave their heads and parade them around the camp with a sign around her neck. I broke the rules and curled my hair. Mendel often stood at the gate into Birkenau, waiting for an inmate to turn and look at her. And who did but taken out of the lines and never heard again. She participated in the selection of women and children sent to the guest chamber. She sent half a million women and children to their deaths in the guest chambers at Auschwitz. At Auschwitz, Mendel was known as the Beast. She had a passionate love for classical music, created the Women's Orchestra at Auschwitz which consisted of prisoner musicians who were often spared from the guest chamber. The orchestra would perform for, in all weather conditions and for all occasions during roll calls, selections, transports and executions. Mendel was awarded the War Merit Cross second class for her services. In November 1944, she was assigned to the Mühldorf subcamp of the Hau concentration camp. As the Allied forces advanced into Germany, in May 1945, Mendel fled from Mühldorf into the mountains of southern Bavaria. The U.S. Army arrested Mendel on the 10th August 1945. Interrogation revealed that she was extremely intelligent and dedicated to her work in the camps. Mendel was handed over to Poland in November 1946 and in November 1947 was tried in the Auschwitz trial. She was convicted for her role in selection of prisoners for guest chambers and medical experiments and sentenced to death by hanging. 
Shortly before the execution, Maria Mendel and another SS camp guard, Therese Brendel, asked for forgiveness to Stanislava Rachvalova, a Polish survivor from Auschwitz. Maria Mendel was hanged on 24th January 1948 at age 36. Her last words before the execution were, Long live Poland.